Hello, everyone. My name is Zeron Weinberg. It's uh, a pleasure to be here, especially at IDEO. Uh, talking about design, this is you know, the mecca for product design. Um, a little about myself, I'm actually a product designer. I've designed over 100 products, ranging from children's toys, consumer electronics, healthcare products. And I've always been fascinated with solving and designing problems for healthcare. And one of the big issues in healthcare, really, that I've been trying to tackle in this space is how do we design a system for distribution and marketing for all the products in the space? Because we all know distribution is one of, one of the hardest parts in this, in this space. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about a place to care. And uh, just a, a quick example of what it is, it's, it's like Pinterest for health. So we all know caregiving and just dealing with your own issues, whether it's chronic illness or managing care for yourself or for somebody else, it's a very lonely process. It's something that you don't really have uh, experience doing before. It's very specific to you and your experience. And so you feel like you're all alone. You don't really have the support system that you need in place to be able to tackle on and, and know how to take care of somebody. It's also very confusing. Uh, it's a place where you, you don't have the experience you need to know where to look or what questions to ask or um, you know, where to turn to. And there's a lot of really great resources that are available out there, such as you know, new technologies coming out, great resources online. But because everything is so fragmented, it's hard for people to really understand where to turn to to get the information they need. So, what we've been looking at is how do we create this as a much smarter and simpler way to bring all these resources and bring the experiences of people who've already gone through uh, caring and dealing with the issue of, of uh, care, caregiving and bring it under one kind of platform, uh, a central place. And that's why we've created a place to care. A place to care is the social way to discover, collect, and share health and wellness resources and experiences. It's a place where you can discover resources from experts and people like you. What this means is you can find articles, websites, products, services, uh, questions, anything that really relates to um, health and wellness or caregiving specifically. These resources can then be collected into private or public care packs. And we, we call them care packs because this is a place where you can organize the information that you're either browsing online through the internet, which is you know, a better way to bookmark and, and save the information, or you can create a care pack that's really specific to you know, mom's health. And then I can share that with other people who are dealing with mom's health issues or very specific care packs within that is where you hold the resources, the products, you know, the, the information. And the resources themselves can be shared and social. And that's really important because when you find information, you find content, you find a website, you can share that with a family member or with the community and you can have a discussion about it. You can have a conversation. Uh, and one of the important aspects of this is being able to rank that information. So as a community, together, we can rank what information we feel is better than other information and, and what we recommend other people to look at. So going through this whole world of, of you know, a lot of information overload, what's better content than other? And because there's so much information, most people don't really know how to filter that out. So one of the important parts is we use a, an algorithm to be able to make personalized recommendations based on your profile and based on what you've looked at before and based on what people have gone through similar to you. And that way, you don't have to look for that information. It's almost presented to you. And by doing that, we can also learn kind of the behaviors of the people and what we can predict that they'll need before they know they need it. So if we look at you know, the progress of caregiving, we can begin to make suggestions as they uh, begin to collect information. And this really is also a place for organization, brands, and experts to collect the information and help build their visibility. So we're all kind of coming together 
um, to share information, share resources. And for these organizations, it gives them the opportunity to build awareness for their own, um, their own content, their own brand. And it also can give them insight to what resources and, and uh, products and services are people really interested in and get that information so they can learn and improve what they're providing as well. And really, it's, it's about creating a winning partnership for everybody. So it's a, it's a very fragmented market. It's a very fragmented space. How can we all come together and share resources, share, share uh, in terms of a partnership for everybody to bring this into a cohesive system, an ecosystem, whether it's organizations and brands coming together or just people who can support each other through this process. And uh, just to conclude, I'd like to invite everyone um, to join our private beta. You can experience and give us feedback and we can learn and, and share as well. And you can go to aplacetocare.org or you can email me at eran at aplacetocare.org. Thank you. Great, well, so we'll open it up. Um, quick question from my side first. Do you find that the caregivers are online and are as obsessively excited with social networking as the sort of perhaps younger Pinterest users would be? Have you got people actually using this stuff already? So we haven't, we haven't opened it up to the market to really get that kind of information, but the, uh, we are opening this up to the 50 plus market in general. And it's, it's really looking at it because We've developed products before that were very caregiver specific, and the issue is identifying caregivers, and that's the hard part. So we've kept this a little bit more generic in the sense of this is health and wellness, and really targeting more of the 50 plus market to their own health and their own well-being. But through that process, being able to identify and maybe based on what they're looking at and being able to maybe ask questions through this process to determine who's a caregiver. So hopefully, the goal is to identify them before they identify themselves and be able to help them, guide, guide them through that process. So uh, eventually the goal will be to become a little bit more of a marketplace or a, a lead gen. The, uh, in terms of the product side, when we have products, uh, if, if there's click-throughs, that could be part of the revenue stream or inquiries, things like that. So we, uh, Celsius is a for-profit, a place to care is actually a nonprofit, but um, that's something that we've been kind of going back and forth because in this space, it's it's a tricky situation dealing with healthcare uh, and being a for-profit company. You know, there is some resistance uh, for people to just provide information. Um, so it's it's something that we are we're kind of in between. We're a hybrid really right now. Do you think that um, Pinterest could do this if they see you doing it and find it interesting? Could they just make it a feature of their service? Yeah, I mean, Pinterest does have, have a health category, right? But it's really more geared towards wellness and fitness and nutrition. Um, of course, anybody can enter the space. The, the goal here is really, by making it focused on health and wellness, that's how we target the products and the services and really building the recommendations to target this market. And so Pinterest, because they're such a broad, in, in a much more broad space, it's a little harder for them to be able to do that, unless they broke off in a segment, which of course is always doable. So it's actually, right now it's all owned by Celsius. And uh, you, we're kind of in a transition period with, with the name and the .org. And so things will, will kind of begin to uh, define themselves as we keep moving forward, but the goal is, uh, you know, the goal is to see, because there are no there are no direct answers. The goal is to see, well, is this a better direction, being as a nonprofit, and how do we monetize from there, or as a for profit, and seeing if there's adoption and, and more openness. Because as a nonprofit, we can also create this kind of movement and support from other nonprofits. Whereas a for profit, you know, there sometimes there's a little bit of resistance from a with nonprofits. So yeah. Thank you.